okay friends so this is again uh, fs10n uh, and where we can find the t account so let me type the t account again i want to explore the bank account uh, the number i remember so i don't need to use f4 i press execute after mentioning the company code and the fiscal year and this is uh, the activity as on 5th March. Uh, today is 5th March, so I have run this report on 5th March. That's why I'm saying it's on 5th March. Otherwise, the parameter is given just the bank account number and the company code. And you, uh, as mentioned in the last video, that we can drill down over here. And uh, the point uh, that I want to uh, reinforce at this point of time in this video is this, that in this particular report, if we want to see the details of, for example, this month, January, uh, and we drill it down, and we are on the report of January in which there are 379 items displayed. It shows all the documents posted uh, in January, right? All the documents posted. So it's the posting period, January, posting period was one. We have drilled down in posting period one, double click. So it's the posting date, January. Now there's another, another report which serves if I am not uh, interested in getting the uh, report of entire month, but just uh, on a certain date. So this is the report FBL 3N. So for example, I want uh, the ledger activity of bank account, right? And then I want the company code is US00. And then further, I want it to be uh, all items, not cleared items, not open items. We shall discuss what the clear item, open item means in uh, accounts payable module. And over here, all the rest of the things are is as they are so and we can mention the posting date here so I mentioned the posting date 21st February 2019 to 24th February 2019 and if there is some other primate uh, parameter you can use the multiple uh, selection as well if there are multiple ranges or some ranges to, to be excluded I execute it right and now I have only 59 items because it's not the report of entire February or entire January. It's the report of just the month of February. So let's report, uh, run the report for the month of January so that we can compare it with the uh, earlier number, which was 378 or something like this. So let's do for January. So we have just one document, right? And you already know that if you want to see this document, we can check here and then we can call up the display document and we can go here call up document overview this will show us the document bank has been debited alternate bank account has been credited and from the header information we can see who has actually posted this document so we go back right again and now i want uh, this activity uh, to be not on posting date but on document date since there is no document date uh, field over here, so we go to the multiple selection button, uh, dynamic selection button, and in the dynamic selection, you find there are some other parameters. If you go down, scroll down, you can see there is a document date. I want the range of a document date to be select range. <coughs> it has to be 1st January 2019 to 31st January 2019. And I press execute right so this is remember this is the document date not the posting date and we have mentioned jail account is this company code is this and we pressed enter and I have a document in which I have a report in which there are 696 documents so these are the documents which have been posted in the month of which uh, that have uh, the document date of January 1st January 31st January and and keep in mind these are only those items which which have been posted to this particular account account bank account right so compare this report with the report that we called earlier by fb03 in the fb03 when we call up the document we mention the document number if we don't know the document number right so let me take uh, uh, you to that report simultaneously in another session so it was fb03 I clicked FB03 I don't know the document number so I went up document list and here I mentioned the document date which has to be here somewhere it's not here so again dynamic selection uh, and in the dynamic selection document date we mentioned it to be 
1st January 2019 to so it has to be 1st January 2019 to 31st January 2019 and let's see and we press execute right and uh, we press enter we again press execute we again press enter to override the error and the number of documents are 859 So I took a break in between. So I was just showing you the comparison between this report in which we have uh, almost 696 entries. Since I pressed enter, so the number was actually appearing here on the status bar. It went away. If I want to see that number again, I just list status, push the list status and gives me that the total number of records is 696. On the other hand, the document date criteria give me a total number of 859 records over here. So what's the difference? Keep in mind, when we run FB03 and we call up a document list, we are not restricting any account. So we are just asking the system to show us the list of all the documents where the document date is in February, in January, right, in this particular report. But over here in FS FBL3N, the earlier thing, uh, uh, the earlier, uh, the first of the one of the most important criteria that we mentioned was bank account number. So these are only the documents, right, in which this particular account has either been debited or credited. Whereas in FBL, uh, FB03, we have all the documents, whether the bank account is there or not there. So remember, if uh, the criteria also mentions some bank account, some or some GL account, not necessarily bank account, any GL account, general ledger account then uh, for any other uh, uh, i mean criteria whether it's a posting date document date etc we have to go to this particular report fbl3n now i would like you to uh, focus on some of the interactive uh, uh, tools available on the application toolbar in this particular report as you know you are already aware that we can check the documents from here and then we can go to display the document we can change some of the line items directly from here or the document so fb02 can be called up directly from here this is mass change this is janu journal for us for so we leave it uh, this is already deactivated this is display check information it relates to bank ledger so it's not relevant for us again account master data so this is the 100,000 account bank account number is 100,000 if I want to see the master data of this account if some of you recall the transaction code for the master data was FS00 so I can directly see the master data status from here so you see that within the T code FBL3N where I am I am taken to the master data this was the bank account and here I am only my only available status is display so I am in the display mode I don't need to change it so I go back and over here we can have some correction requests not relevant for us and this is something which I want you to try right so before trying filter or sort in ascending order or sort in descending order these three buttons you need to make sure that you are actually clicking one of the possible columns so for example I click this possible column amount and local currency and then I want to filter it so please try it on your own I want to sort it try it on your own sort in the ascending order sort in the descending order then we have another button change layout if you click this button we see there are some uh, fields which are already in this report and there are some hidden fields so if I want to reduce the number of columns I can select some of these for example business area document type and uh, for example posting key and text code and clearing document these are some of the things I don't want I selected them by this uh, selecting these square boxes and I uh, put them I move them to the hidden fields I move the assignment also to the hidden fields for example I move the cleared status also to the hidden field and then I press copy and you see the number of columns have been reduced and if I want to add some columns again I can just select from there here and I can move some of the columns here if I want to move all the columns right from here I will select all of them and or I will just click this so all of them will be here so I don't want to do this so I just cancel it so this is the way we can change the layout uh, don't uh, uh, I mean I want I, I don't uh, intend to discuss these two uh, this is where you can display the sum of these document maybe based on 
so these are the subtotals these are the totals i don't uh, actually intend to um, uh, ask you about using these buttons so if you are interested you can do it for yourself and this is about the status that what was actually the status the status was 696 records were there and these are the sorting parameters and these are the subtotals and total parameters so we go back right and now you know that uh, if i ask you to give me a list of uh, all the entries posted to rent expense account for example um, where the posting date is january and where the document date is in the last 10 days of january for example so you should be able to do this give me the list of all the documents posted to any expense account any expense account means there is a range of all the expense account so go to f4 pick the first expense account in the range right and up to the last ex uh, expense account in the range and then there is some posting date for example january and there is some document date for example february run the report and you can actually manipulate the report on the application toolbar so i hope uh, this is ho uh, helpful Let's try three th items three things that i said you would sort and filter and uh, uh, from the next video we shall be focusing on the trial balance and the financial statements <coughs>